Good morning, this is Keith Van Wimmer with Van Tech Consulting, back with another YouTube video. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit uh, real quickly about um, loss testing. So uh, we're going to be using a, just a power meter and light source. Now this is just to test for optical loss. This is not testing for ORL, which is the optical return loss, um, nothing like that. So this is the, the very basic um, you've done your OTDR shots, you know, you want to verify that uh, you're within specification for your loss budget. So we're going to go ahead and just do a very quick um, uh, loss test with, uh, with the light source and power meter. So what we have is, the um, first thing we have is the JDSU OLS 35. This is a uh, single mode uh, light source. It is... Um, 1310 and 1550. Very nice little unit. It's extremely small. Uh, go over this real quick. We have the power button, um, laser on off button. This changes your um, lambda. So if we have this on as we're, as we're pushing this button, we're just changing the uh, wavelength. Uh, this is multi or um, auto. So if you have this in auto and you're using another JDSU product, it will actually find um, which wavelength you're using. So we'll go over that pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, uh, constant wave. You can do um, the auto, the multi-wave, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. It also has modulation. So if you're in a constant wave, you can modulate this at the 270 hertz, uh, one kilohertz and two kilohertz. Um, useful for identifying fiber. Um, that's basically it. On the side of this, we have a little USB port here. Um, yes, I did try plugging that into FiberCheck. That USB port is uh, purely for power. So if you have a, uh, you know, a USB hub or whatever, um, USB power supply, you can plug that in there. Top little cover here. Um, I use a, a LC adapter. You can buy different adapters for these. If you can find them, you can get the, uh, the SC. They're pretty easy to change out. This is a fixed adapter, so it's not like the uh, ones on the T-Bird, um, you know, the 2000 where it has a little bail. You can take the whole adapter off, put on the new one. It's not a quick change. You actually have to undo the two screws, gently take this out. There's a um, FC connector under here. You unscrew that and then uh, put in your new adapter. So that is changeable. Um, you know, I just go ahead and use uh, LC to SC. Um, or LC to APC uh, jumper if I need to do uh, any kind of adaption. Um, next up on our test bed is our ever trusty HP3. This is the uh, fiber inspection kit. We have our uh, uh, analog FBP probe. This is the Westover 5000, um, the HP3. This is the power meter and um, uh, connector inspection as well as jumper inspection on this camera up here. Um, so that's pretty much our test bed. We have a short LC uh, cord. We have our ever popular one click uh, cleaning tools. Now this right now, the HP3 is set up right now for the 2.5. So, um, you know, this is a standard uh, push pull type of connector. So it's a 2.5 millimeter uh, ferrule. The LCs that we're going to do on this is uh, 1.25, so you have to reconfigure this. Pretty simple. We just unscrew this adapter, put on the uh, 1.25, screw that right on. On the power meter, um, get in here close, see if we can get right up in here. This, um, this little guy here is a push-pull uh, 2.5. So it's knurled. All you have to do is just unscrew this. Sorry for the camera. Big hands, small parts. Um, we have this guy here, which is the adapter that goes on to that. So that just screws on in its place. All right. So get that on there, snug it up, don't over tighten. And then the last thing that we need to do is on the scope, um, go ahead and we have a um, SC tip on here and we're gonna put on the LC. Now, for some reason or another, um, this is one of the uh, tips that um, 
JDSU or Westover felt was uh, necessary to put a key on. So you have to kind of um, turn this around and you'll find the little, there's a little slot here, a little notch. So you turn that around, it'll lock in, get your wheel up there. Don't over tighten, but make sure it's snug. If these are loose, um, it can cause problems when you're trying to um, do your inspection because your camera's shaking inside there. So you want to make sure that both ends of these are snug, especially if this has been in the back of a truck uh, driving around, you know, that can loosen up. Okay, so power meter. We got our tester, so let's go ahead and fire these babies up. The first thing we're going to do, as always, is we're going to um, go ahead and scope and look at all of our connectors. Make sure that everything is nice and clean. These guys here are non-contact. They're just um, camera. And then this is a, a photo um, uh, optical receiver, which is non-contact, okay? So nothing to clean here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. The first thing we'll do is make sure that that's turned off. If it was on and the laser was going, uh, no problem. This is why we use a scope. We get this on here. We focus it up. We got a little dirt in there, so we'll go ahead and uh, give this a clean. So, you know, just a, a simple click it in here. Click, click, done, done. Go ahead, go back in there. That guy looks nice and clean. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead, hit our button. We're flipped over to this camera now. We'll put our jumper in here. We've got a little dirt on that, I can see, so we'll go ahead and give that a click. Open up our little cap here. I'm going to turn this camera just a touch. There we go. Give that a little click. Ever popular one click two times. Um, not quite good enough, so let's give it another click. All right, nice and pristine. Go ahead, as soon as these are done and we've um, cleaned our connectors, we always wanna make sure that we plug them in. If you leave them just kinda hanging out in the world, um, you know, opportunity to get dirt and stuff on there. So, let's go ahead and uh, look at this guy. Perfect. Okay, next step that we're gonna do is um, we'll go ahead and fire up the, uh, the power. So now, this again is just non-contact, so we can just pop this in. You seat it nice and firm. Now, what we haven't done is we haven't referenced out any jumper. So if we were actually doing a um, live test, we would take both jumpers, one from our power meter, um, through a bulkhead, and to the light source, reference it out so we get a zero reference, then go to the other to the opposite ends of the fiber and actually test the fiber. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, we'll pop this on. This is set in auto mode, so let's get this into by pushing the, uh, we're back to pushing the auto button. And we'll turn on our laser. So what we can see now is that up here, I'll use this as my pointer. Right down at the bottom here, it's showing that it's 1310, all right? If I change my lambda up here to 15, on the, uh, the light source to the 1550, this automatically changes to 1550. Now I'll go back to 1310, and notice it's gonna go right back there. Now if we were using um, the uh, multi-lambda, it's gonna flip, you can see this, and it's changing. So it's giving us, it's um, alternating between the 1310 and the 1550 as the, um, if I can put this in here, let's see if we can get that. As this is, the light source is changing, 1310, 1550, our meter down here is also changing and giving us a reading at 1310 and 1550. So it's kind of a cool little thing. Um, take this out of the, uh, the um, auto and put it into a constant wave. Now notice what happens is because this little guy here is in auto, it's not going to read the constant wave. JDSU does um, some modulation on the wavelengths that talks back and forth between the optical, uh, between the light source and the power meter. So using that uh, modulation, 
which is proprietary for them. Um, it's able to detect, the power meter is able to detect what wavelength it's using. So if we were in a constant wavelength, let's say that we did not have the JDSU um, uh, light source and we had a, a noise light source or something, um, then what we could do is actually just push the lambda and 850, we'll get back up here to where are we at, we're on 1550 and there we go. So once we get on the 1550 lambda, it um, will detect the uh, wavelength. If I change my, um, if I go over here on my little light source and change the, uh, the wavelength here to 1310, um, then notice where our reading changes. We have to come over here. We'd have to go back to the 1310. 850, 1300, and 1310. So there you go. It's that simple. Um, once you get these readings, you would jot them down. The auto function is very cool. You just take this guy here, you set him over, so it says auto, um, auto lambda, and multi. Okay, so the multi is where it's flipping back and forth. Take this guy here, plug him over to, um, plug him over to the auto and there we go he is going through um, and again remember that you can um, the USB port on the bottom of this if you watched our other video there is a USB on the bottom of this um, little unit and you can actually go in and set up the the wavelengths you're going to use so if you're not using 1490 you can delete it so um, that is set up via um, FiberCheck Pro so you would just go ahead plug this in open up the little door um, see if we can zoom back out here you would just plug it in um, undo the little door on the bottom here plug in the uh, USB go into fiber check Pro, go to your optical uh, power meter and do a configuration and change it out so it's shown in one of the other videos um, on doing the firmware on the HP 3 so anyway I hope this was useful um, it's a pretty cool little setup these guys are uh, nice little units very small use is just uh, two double a batteries you can have rechargeables in there uh, this guy same thing you know it's it's a nice little unit um, anyway i hope that's it or i hope that uh, answers any questions on setting this up a real brief overview on this and uh, if you have any questions feel free leave us a comment subscribe um, if there's anything else that you'd like to talk about uh, as far as any kind of testing or test setup uh, whether it's optical it can be uh, you know, fiber, Ethernet, DSL, um, any one of the services that we offer as far as training, you know, feel free, go ahead, give us a call, we'll drop us a line, leave us a comment. Always happy to help you out. All right. Hope you have a great day. Be safe out there and we will see you next time on YouTube.